Okay, nice to see you all. I think we can. Hello, hello. And welcome, welcome, welcome to the Staff Academy second edition. Yes, Woo. one year ahead. Or we have now one year back, and now we have three years ago ahead. And this is the Staff Academy second edition, and we have good day, two days coming. And I'm Tina Parkkonen, and my dear colleague Tina Lukanen is here also to help you. For, and we will support your presentations and if you have anything. And then we have dear colleagues from Greek and Crete. And basically, they are taking care of IT things if you have some issues or concerns or hopes for that. Stuff Academy is basically about sharing, connecting, and learning from each other, and I'm for sure that during these two days, we will learn from each other and we will hear these 10 amazing presentations, workshops, showcases, whatever, we will see it soon. And if you have anything, please just ask. I think we have a nice bunch of people today here, so we can be quite relaxed i think so because the conversation is the most important thing what we are doing also here that we can contact each other also later on and one thing about stuff academy this is not just these events basically we are continuing after this event with this kind of ingenious stuff academy webinars and you will also hear from them basically they will happen once a month during next years Okay, but I think we'll give stage to my colleague, Tira. Thank you very much. And um, I would like to introduce Dr. Uh, Kalia Hodgetts, who's promised to give us the opening speech. Let's give her a warm welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I stand before you today uh, with a sense of anticipation and excitement about the, as we embark on this staff academy week hosted by the University of Crete and organized by Ingenium, a coalition of 10 uh, European universities committed to the values of inclusion and student-centered pedagogies. As academics, educationalists, and researchers, we have consistently found ourselves at the forefront of responding to societal changes, adapting our roles and approaches to address the evolving needs of our communities. In the last few years, Europe has confronted a series of unprecedented events, unprecedented challenges, economic crises, global pandemics, and even war. These challenges not only shape our daily work as researchers and practitioners, but also force us to reconsider the very essence of our roles in education, urging us to reevaluate our identities as Europeans and as European educational researchers. Amidst this complexity, educational research has played a crucial role in addressing societal changes. And we have the opportunity here in Ingenium to reflect on our achievements, acknowledging the resilience that has carried us through these turbulent times. Uh, Ingenium as an alliance uh, aspires us to be at the forefront, both in Europe and worldwide. And this is not just a declaration, it is a commitment. Our Academy Staff Week serves as a crucial juncture to us to come together to deliberate and to exchange ideas we explore key pedagogical and educational policy issues, examine new trends, celebrate successes, and confront challenges. 
as you can see in our program today and tomorrow, the Ingenium Alliance has welcomed proposals that delve into these areas, encouraging us to explore the intricate interplay of technological expertise and inclusive mindsets. This event is not just an intellectual exercise, but a call to action, an invitation for us to consider how our, our collective efforts can influence and shape the trajectory of education for the better. To begin with, I would like to ask you to consider what we mean by innovation in higher education. And please notice the word education. Uh, it is there for a reason, right? Uh, so you can use the QR code um, or uh, use the URL that I have right above. Um, and write up to one or two, from one to three words and write what innovation means to you. We will have a look at it. I will move on though in the meantime, but we will have a look at it. Innovation in higher education is not confined to technological advancements or flashy initiatives. It encompasses a broader spectrum that includes intentionally and proactively inclusive curriculum design. Teaching methodologies, assessment for learning, and institutional structures that allow all this. In this slide, you can see three key axes of universal design for learning, for example, that we can all apply in our lessons, increasing engagement, multimodality in presentations and opportunities to express student voice and creativity. Firstly, let us acknowledge this transformative power of technology. The digital age, the digital age has ushered in new possibilities of, for teaching and learning, breaking down geographical barriers, and fostering global collaboration. AI is now part of our academic reality and we're looking into ways to empower all students to use it constructively and ethically to maximize efficiency and intellectual output in higher education and providing academics with key instructional insights is a key priority for Ingenium Alliance. Innovation is not synonymous with pedagogy alone, with pedagogy alone. Technology is not pedagogy. There are six, these are the six most common things teachers do with technology. For example, I can mention cloud computing is nothing more than finding a more efficient way to collaborate with students and staff. Content management systems are nothing more than finding a more efficient way to communicate with students. Personal learning networks are nothing more than finding a more efficient way to find and share resources. Behavior management software is nothing more than finding a more efficient way to give formative feedback of soft skills. Flipped classrooms are nothing more than finding an efficient way to deliver direct content and increase personalized learning opportunities. Gamification is another way of increasing student engagement. Electronic portfolios and digital quizzes are nothing more than finding a more efficient way to assess student knowledge and increase their awareness of areas that can be improved. Simulations are another way of promoting student agency and ownership as active citizens. In other words, Ingenium Staff Academy shows how technology can enhance collaboration, communication, networking, and increase opportunities for accessibility, personalized learning, and assessment uh, for learning. Innovation in higher education pedagogy demands also a departure from the traditional lecture-centered 
model towards active and participatory projects, problem solving activities and real world applications and fosters a sense of ownership in uh, people's education. This shift from teacher centric to a learner centric uh, paradigm is pivotal in preparing students, not just for examinations, but for life beyond academia. Towards this aim, at the University of Crete, um, we have run a MOOC, a massive open access online course for academics who wish to make this departure from traditional teaching more feasible. This course is now being attended by more than 100 academics in Greece. Um, it's only new, it's only very recent. And we are hoping that it will be translated very soon so that other people can enjoy the benefits. So far, the feedback we have is excellent and I, we hope other people can benefit from this uh, endeavor. Now, who is responsible? Please don't answer this question. Perhaps you can answer it um, yourselves. Uh, don't do that uh, because I won't show it to you. But who is responsible really for innovation? Institutional policy and structures play a crucial role, but it's a culture that encourages experimentation that supports faculty development. The Ingenium Alliance, with its commitment to inclusion and student-centered pedagogies, exemplifies this kind of collaborative effort needed to drive innovation. It is crucial to emphasize this collective ownership and shared accountability. Innovation is not the responsibility of a select few, but a shared commitment. Taking ownership implies recognizing the interconnectedness of our roles and understanding that each decision we take, we make, contributes to the dynamic ecosystem of higher education. As integral parts of the adaptable ecosystem, educators, administrators, researchers must actively contribute towards this aim. And you can see that this is not just an ingenium uh, objective, this is part of the Erasmus Alliance uh, calls for innovation for uh, other European universities as well, which basically remain responsive and inclusive in the face of evolving societal challenges. When do we know that we met this objective? When do we know we've done this right? We've basically been successful or not. Let us not forget that innovation is a continuous process. As we gather here to celebrate achievements and chart the course for the future, we must embrace a growth mindset that thrives on adaptability and developing resilience. The challenges we face demand an openness to exploring new possibilities continually. Embracing lifelong learning is important as innovation in higher education and higher education pedagogy is not a singular event, but a holistic and ongoing endeavor. It encompasses technological advancements, inclusive practices, active learning methodologies, typical and atypical forms of learning, and a supportive institutional culture. As we navigate, the uncharted waters of the future. Let us make sure that our higher education systems not only respond to societal changes, but actively contribute to shaping a more inclusive and resilient culture. Thank you very much. And I look forward to the inspiring discussions that will unfold during the Ingenium Staff Academy this week. Thank you.